Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nkaisa Molo. For those who don't know me, I'm a Zimbabwean staying in Botswana. And guys, I hope you really love it here and you will stay. And do not forget to subscribe. So guys, I just want to say thank you, thank you for your support. Thank you for each and everyone who have commented on my video, liked my video. Thank you so much. Do not forget to share. And guys, so in today's video, I'll be doing the similarities between Botswana and Zimbabwe. So I once did a video about the difference between Botswana and Zimbabwe. So if you didn't see it or you didn't watch it, go and watch it up here or finish this video and go and watch that one or stop this one and go and watch that and come back to this one without wasting much of your time i've written them down here on my phone so if you see me looking down i'll be looking at one is that both countries are landlocked they are among 44 landlocked countries in the world so if you don't know what landlocked means this means the country does not have any connection to an ocean the country is not connected to any ocean. Botswana is not connected to any ocean, and Zimbabwe is not connected to any ocean. So that's why they are called landlocked countries. Number two, it's food. The food in Botswana and Zimbabwe they are similar. You can find traditional food we eat in Zimbabwe here in Botswana. You can find any food here in Botswana. We eat pan in Zimbabwe. Here they eat palace in Zimbabwe. We eat palace. They eat porridge. They we eat porridge. They eat beef, chicken, fish, things that we eat in Zimbabwe. Even traditional food, you can find it here in Botswana. Here in Botswana, they eat morocco. We do eat morocco. They have uh, this traditional beer. Even in Zimbabwe, we do have that. But the only difference is the way we cook it, but the food is the same. There is no need for you to stress yourself if you want to go to Zimbabwe or if you want to relocate to Zimbabwe and then stressing yourself like, no, I'm just going to take food. I'm just going to take my food when I'm going to Zim. No, there's no need for you to do that. You can still go to Zimbabwe and go to any shop and you can find the food that you want. You can find amazement. I'm not sure about my belly in Zim. But you can find anything that you want in Zimbabwe that you, you eat here in Botswana. Same applies if you are in Zimbabwe and you want to relocate to Botswana. You can find the food here. There's no need for you to come with your food here. There's food here. Even traditional food in Zimbabwe. Traditional food that we have in Zimbabwe is, is there here. Uh, another one that is called Mkanga. I don't know other people they understand. But I'm sure that never speaking people they understand what is Mkanga is. And here... It might differ the, the, the names only, but it's the same thing. It can differ the names and the way we prepare or cook it, but it's the same thing. You buy the you you buy in the shops, you buy mismo in the shop, and then you come, you cook it on your own in your own way. You buy beef like in any butcher, and then you come, you cook on your own. You cook, cook the way you want it. So there's a lot of food. Here. Number three is culture. The culture is similar. It might differ a little bit, but we do have a similar culture. Here in Botswana, they do have that traditional beer. As I said, even in Zimbabwe, we have traditional beer. The culture here, uh, as I said, like the other people, cultures here, uh, Bakalanga, Bak is it Bakalanga kind of Makalaka? We do have Bakalanga at home. So the culture is similar. The culture that they are practicing here, same thing that is, is being practiced in Zim. And the Andevelis here in Botswana, yes, in Zimbabwe we have Andevelis. They have shown us here, here they call them Mazizuru, right? In Zim we call them Mazizuru, but most of them we know them as Vashona, right? Shona people. They are here in Botswana. The culture is the same. It might differ a little bit because here the Bazizuru in Zim is Shona. Exactly, exactly as the one Bazizuru they do. But it's on that some of the things there and there that are similar is not exactly, exactly, exactly the same. The culture that Bazizuru and Shona people practice. But I'm making that clear. People, they think that Bazizuru and Shona people, they practice the same culture like when it comes to marriages and what it's not like that few people they do that in zim but it's not all of shona people who practice who do as Bazizuru do when it comes to their marriages so number four is languages as i said the languages is similar the devil speaking people here in Botswana and zimbabwe have devil speaking people and i speak in Devele. and the shona speaking people here in Botswana same applies in zimbabwe and the abakalanga speaking 
Kalanga speaking people here in Botswana and in Zimbabwe we have Kalanga speaking people. So the languages are similar, the languages are the same, it's the same, the same language, the same devil that I speak in Zimbabwe, the same devil they speak here in Botswana, the same Shona that they speak in Botswana, the same Shona that they speak in Zimbabwe. So more almost everything is similar. And number five is shops or stores. In Zimbabwe, Botswana and Zimbabwe, they have similar stores. Here we have eight cars. In Zimbabwe, we have PEP. Even here, is, uh, there is PEP. And there is this shop, a fast food restaurant, which is called Ekaya. I saw it there in on, on the way to Block 3. I saw it is being built there next to ICM. In Zimbabwe, it's there. Like we have a lot of, lot of similar shops. And uh, for supermarkets, there's choppies in Zimbabwe, there's spa in Zimbabwe, there's pick and pay in Zimbabwe. So when you're in Zimbabwe, when to come here and then you are saying that I don't know where am I going to get the grocery, it's the same. Like you can go to a choppy store, when you're in you Muzwana in Zimbabwe, you can go to a choppy store, you can go to pick and pay, to spa. Same applies here. If you're used to buy uh, groceries in pick and pay, you can still come here. There's no need for you to change the store, you can still go to pick and pay. Or if you are used to choppies, you can come to Pozana and still shop in, in choppies. And number six is that both countries mine minerals. Here in Botswana, Botswana they mine diamond. I don't know what else, but in Zim, I know that we mine uh, abestas. There's tin in Zimbabwe, there's charcoal in Zimbabwe, there's uh, abestas, there's gold. Same applies here in Botswana. I know that it's not, it's not, it's not only diamond. There are other minerals that are being uh, extracted here, but I'm not aware of them. I only know that they do diamond because I know that they are based in diamonds. If you didn't know that, and number two, and the world world after Russia. Number seven is national parks. Botswana have national parks, same applies in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, we have Nyanga National Park, we have Wange, we have uh, a lot, a lot of national parks in, uh, park in Zimbabwe. Same applies here in Botswana. Botswana is Chobe National Park. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of national park in this Kasana. I'm not sure about Kasana. Is it a national park or it's just a resort? I'm not sure about that. But I know that in Kasana there are a lot of animals there. So I don't know is it Kasana National Park or what. If it's Kasana National Park, please comment it down below. What is uh, Kasana? Is it Kasana National Park or it's just a resort? Number eight is both countries, they have similar things. That's it guys for this video. I hope you really loved it and guys, thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, share and follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much.